Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you so much for uh, organizing this event. I'm very excited to be part of it. Um, my name is Jamila. I am first year PhD student. I mainly do my research around decentralized governance and legal issues of decentralized dispute resolution systems. I've been made very clear that today's lightning talk shouldn't have to do anything with my research. Therefore, there are many topics I'm passionate about. And one of it is uh, problems of inclusion and diversity that uh, we experience in the blockchain space. So um, recently as a first year PhD student, I was quite lucky uh, in the last couple of months to be able to visit so many crypto conference um, events, just panels in general and be part of them. Although I've experienced, uh, that was quite shocking for me um, that uh, the amount of like females and women that I saw, there was very, very low. And if we would see at the pie chart, um, that's based on the data and statistic that was gathered around 2019, uh, that uh, more than 85% in the field are male dominated, which is not particularly a bad thing, but the fact that we have uh, still uh, so many problems of inclusion that goes beyond just uh, including females, but also, you know, people from underrepresented backgrounds, LGBTQ plus community and etc. So, um, and the problems um, could stem from many reasons, anything from uneven access to education, lack of unemployment, equality, job segregation, et cetera, et cetera. Unfortunately, uh, even if blockchain space offers us um, in some ways more accessible field, uh, it still has uh, transported those problems that we have experienced in you know, web two space and et cetera. Fortunately, uh, there are many females that are um, trying to change that. And uh, for instance, uh, my uh, PhD supervisor, Primavera Filippi, and uh, I've been quite lucky to meet Ella Rini as well uh, not long ago. And you know, there are many, many uh, inspiring examples um, that you can see in the field. However, the problem still exists. And um, with that being said, uh, I just made a little compilation of projects that uh, aim to, you know, uh, bring uh, voices of underrepresented communities. One of them is Unicorn DAO, you may know them. They, uh, in a sense, like Bitcoin, uh, aim to offer funding to projects that uh, were created by LGBTQ plus community and females, and they try to give funding to those projects that um, you know would uh, more likely to be uh, not seen due to um, I don't know social stigma, certain uh, problems that we experience in the society, and um, one of them, uh, for instance, uh, I was part in part of. Uh, it was an event organized by Morales during If Prague last month, and it was called Web Free Donors Meetup, and it was quite wonderful because it was a um, great opportunity to connect and meet fellow female colleagues uh, that represented you know, different kinds of projects. Some of them were developers and uh, took part in hackathons and even won like, um, you know, prizes. And then there were uh, executives, uh, young females that have just entered the space and already are uh, progressing, uh, establishing their own companies and et cetera. And, um, we actually, you can see me here wearing jeans <laughs> with one of the girls, we became really good friends and we decided to take also an initiative and to do something, um, take, you know, our approach. And now we're working on developing a podcast that would feature females in the field. But just something that we really want to do as our hobby during our PhD and to talk about issues that are often overlooked. Um, therefore, it's something that we are organizing right now. We're working on, um, you know, just our lineup. Therefore, if um, any of you would be interested, I would love to get in touch. Therefore, um, I just wanted to bring this issue that uh, we unfortunately still experience, and there is a lot uh, to be done in order to improve this problem. But uh, I would just encourage to maybe pay attention to the projects that are um, aiming to change that and 
Um, yes, that, that, that was my talk and I think five minutes is up. Thank you so much.